Good morning to all. Myself Jasmine Sina and I study in second. Today we are going to learn about fraction. Now what is this fraction means? So this fraction is just the part of whole. Okay, the part of whole. Now how we write the what are the parts of the fraction? Now you ask. So like you see like this here. I'm taking A for telling you A and like this B for here. Now what this tell us? Let's learn about it also. So first, there are two parts of a fraction which is numerator and denominator. Numerator. Denominator. Now, what does this numerator and denominator tell us? So this numerator is the numerator tell us the selected part and you can say shaded part. Selected parts. Selected parts. And this denominator tell us the total number of parts. Total parts. Now I think you should give this the part of the fraction. So let me tell you with a um, example so that you should clear with this. So what happens when you have a figure like this? Like I have here a rectangle that you are seeing. Now what happened when I cut this rectangle in four parts and select this part that I'm just shading that part like this and like this. Now what is the fraction of this figure? What is the fraction? Now, first, first we see how many parts are there. Means what is the denominator? What is the denominator? So here, how many parts are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 parts in this figure. So we write 4 under this line that we call as upon and by you can say any one of them now then we find the numerator that tell us how many selected part and you can say shaded part so here how many shaded parts are there one two there are two shaded parts so we write two above this line means our fraction is two by four and upon 4. It is pretty easy to find the fraction of figure. Now let's learn about the like fraction and unlike fraction. What are these? So like fraction, let's talk about like fraction. What are these types? This is the type of a fraction, okay? Like fraction. Now what is this? So, like I have two fractions. Mm, like this. Okay, let's take it. Of the, these fractions, 
equation are same. But the numerator is different. Now these are frac these are like fraction. How? Because the denominator are same. These are same. And if any fraction has same denominator, then those fractions are called as like fraction. Let's take another example of this like fraction. So let's take an example like this. 4 upon 8 and 4 by 8 then 6 by 8. These are also called as like fraction because the denominator are same. So this is very easy. Yeah? Let's move on to unlike fraction now. Unlike, unlike fraction. What are these now you ask? So unlike fraction is like this. When you have like Yeah. So I have here you can see that Let's see these fractions. Now this is 8 by 5 and 6 by 7. Yeah? These are 8 by 5 and 6 by 7. Now tell me this is like fraction or not? No, because the denominator are not, not same. So these are unlike fraction now because the denominator is not same not same if the denominator is not same then that and then those fractions are called as unlike fraction it is pretty easy when the denominator are same then it is called as like fraction and when the denominator is not same, then it is called as unlike fraction. Simple? Let's move on. Now let's see how to compare the like fraction. Now we how to now how we compare it. So like we have to compare 8 by 6. Compared by 7 by 6. Now it is pretty easy to compare the like fraction. Because in like fraction we have to only compare the numerator. Now what is the answer when we compare 8 and 7? What will the answer so the answer is, you know that this one is bigger, 8 is bigger, simply you learn about this. Now, simply we find the answer, the answer is this. This is bigger, very simple. Very good. Let's move on to another one question. Now in this, we have again the like fraction to compare. 6 by 8 I am making. A 9 by 8. It is also simply easy. We have to only compare this numerator. Means 6 by 9. 6 compared by 9. Which is bigger? Of course we have... Have the answer. The answer is 
line is bigger. Five, we had find the answer. The answer is this. 9 by 8 is bigger than 6 by 8. Simply easy. Now let's compare the unlike fraction. Now it is little hearts. Littles. Okay, very little heart. So I'm taking 6 by 2 and then I'm taking 2 by 4. This. Now how can we compare this? So for this, let me make a diagram for this. So what is the diagram of this one? The diagram is, there are 6 parts. I'm making the 6 parts. shaded and two are selected you can see and what is the diagram of this there are four parts and two are again shaded oh sorry i make this wrong this diagram and this fraction also wrong so let me change this fraction this is wrong i write it wrong it is 4 by, yeah, 5. Let's take this. this. Now, 5 parts. Sorry for the mistake. So, 5 parts I'm making. Just a moment. Like this and make it take as these are same okay take as that these are in same size okay now how do we compare this so for comparing this we have to make this fraction in like fraction. These unlike fraction and like fraction. How do we convert it? So first let me erase the diagram now. Now we have to we have to find two. We have to just um let's uh, we have to just multiply five and four. What is the answer? Five multiply by four. You know the answer. The answer is 20. Now, now we have to, now we have to multiply the, now let, let me, let me tell you how we, so we have to multiply this 4 and 5 so that we got the, uh, we got the denominator as uh, 20 and the numerator anyway. So 5 multiply 4 we want. So that the answer will be 20. Now okay. Now four, we have to multiply 4. Multiply by 4 again. What is the answer now? So the answer will be 16. Now we got the answer. Now let's take this as. Now let's multiply this. Okay. 2 up by 4. Now. Now we have to multiply 4. Multiply by 5. So that, that we get. We got the answer 20. Now what, we have to multiply 2. Multiply by 5. Which is 10. Now just. Now we had to. We had converted these fraction. In like fraction. And we got that. First let me erase this. We got as.
We got as the answer. This we got the answer sixteen by twenty, and this as ten by twenty. Now what happened when we compared the numerator? Because the denominator is same. Now this is so very easy because we had converted it in the like fraction. So which is bigger, sixteen or ten? This is bigger. Means this one that you are seeing, four by five is bigger than. that how to compare the like fraction and unlike fraction now let's see how to how to arrange the fraction in ascending order the like fraction in ascending order now let's see it's only 3 okay 4 by 8 6 by 8 and again 9 and 9 by 8. Like this. Now, what is what will the answer when we compare these all? Now you know that when the fractions are like, just compare the numerator so that now it is easier. So four compared by six and six compared by nine, which is which is smallest. Four is smallest, okay? So right, first four and eight. Four by eight is smallest. We got the answer. Then we find six compared by nine, which is smallest. Six is smallest, right? Six by eight. Then which is biggest now? Nine by eight. It is also left to be right. Nine by eight. Nine by eight. Got. We got the answer. Now let's uh, let's arrange uh, this fraction, the same fraction, in descending order. Now descending order. So what happened when we when we what happened when we compare four by six, four compared by six and six compared by nine, which is biggest? Nine is biggest, so we write first. Nine by eight, which is now which is biggest four and six, which is biggest six by eight is biggest. So we write six by eight. Now we left this four by eight, so just write four by eight because it is also a smallest fraction among among these. Okay. Now let's move. You should clear with this fraction. So thank you for watching this video and have a cheerful day ahead. And if you want any improvement in me, you just comment it in the comment box.